<laughs> Good afternoon. What a fascinating subject this one is. Um, many people have been sending me messages due to the fact that I'm, um, I've just launched uh, a product um, over 11 years of uh, my own uh, product that I believe is one of the most powerful um, incense cleansing sticks uh, in the world. I put my name to it, so yeah, of course I believe in it. And um, This subject is a really fascinating one because what is energy? Um, if you listen to the um, the mystics um, and you know all of these people who are known for their great wisdom, um, talk about energy, and um, you often get people who say, "Oh, I never listen to these people who say, as soon as they mention energy, don't even bother." When actually, everything is energy everything and it's a really hard one to grasp when you think of a, a stone how can a stone be energy because we express the energy as something that is invisible when it's not energy is based upon um, whether it's solid or whether it's invisible energy is energy so everything is based on energy when you can get your head around that concept you can start to then uh, clear that that kind of um, mindset of it's nonsense because it isn't nonsense energy is um, a vibration it can be um, it can be extremely powerful or it can be extremely sensitive and delicate to the fact that you didn't even know it was there so how how do we know when something is um, really powerful mark tell me what do you mean well have you ever walked up to somebody and you they turn around and they look at you and they haven't even said a word and you can feel their anger, their frustration, their um, sadness, their jealousy, their rage, their content, contentment towards you? Um, of course you have. Of course you have. You, you know it's not you, it's them. The reaction is whatever they are. They are vibrating at that very energy. Have you ever been into a room and across the room you can, you've just got a sense, a feeling that something's not right. You can see something feels wrong. Uh, you know, how can you see something feels wrong? You just can. Whether that's, um, whether you watch somebody's persona or their actions. No, I'm talking about you can feel it. Something feels very wrong. Even the slight, slightness of um, the eyes just looking at you, or just the way they are, just just their movements, anything like that, that you can feel it. Because what happens is, when somebody's angry inside, yes, they're moving around, they're pulling their face, but what they don't realize they're doing is they're giving off an energy that is like a, a thunderbolt and lightning strike against uh, people who are empathic, sensitive, um, caring, really. So you go, what have I done? <laughs> What's just happened here? <laughs> and that could be family members. You know, hey, we always have to understand that however anybody reacts is a, a real, a real uh, measuring stick to how they feel at that given moment. It's them, not you. If, if the world could grasp that, then um, we'd heal so much quicker. But So, how do we know when negative energy is attached to us? Why, there's loads of different kinds of um, signs, but do you see them? No, you don't. Probably you don't. Uh, uh, one of them's this. That's one of them. Oh, what am I doing there? Why have I gone to my head and why have I done that? Yeah, you've done that because your energy here is so powerful and so heavy that you want to get rid of it because you can feel it in your head but you don't realize that you've got it but you know something's not right whether you've had a fight with somebody whether work's been awful whether somebody's moving into the light and you don't want them to whether your dog's poorly whether you just feel everything's going wrong that is an energy that creates um, something very powerful in your body and your body is a temple and it's screaming saying hey you need to get rid of that thus a natural reaction of you is this. Clear it away. That's just one. There's loads. You can be lying in bed and your hands can be on your heart. And then the next night your hands can be on your stomach. Why is that? Is it just because you think your hands are there because they feel more comfortable? No. 
your hands are a natural healer. That's what it, they're, they're cups that clear away negative energy. They can just clear it and you can clear it. Now, that said, in and around our life force, and many people talk about life forces and how wide is it? Well, it's not important. What's important is that you have to clear negative energy around you at any given moment. There's many videos on here that will help you clear negative energy. And like I said, I've just brought a product out, which is um, Peruvian powerful incense sticks with coated um, Moldavite. And basically you just light that and put it around your body for a short while, three minutes, that's all. And then it clears the negative energy. Negative energy is very easy to clear. Go out for a walk, go for a run, go for a bike ride, go down to the sea. Feel the energy of the sea. That's the biggest vacuum cleaner for negative energy around you. And when do you think people go to the sea? You think that they go there because it's nice and it's the sea? No, the sea is a vacuum cleaner for negative energy. Have a salt bath. Go under a shower, hot or cold. Get some salt, rub it all over your body. That helps clear it away too. There are so many different ways to clear negative energy from your body, but suffice to say, when you are in the vicinity of somebody who's going through a painful uh, situation, whether that's anger or sadness, you will be a part of that. You will feel it and you will, as an empath, attune to it and you will hold it. It's natural. You're a magnet for other people. We're all radiators and we're all drains at one point or another. So that's part of life. We just need to be a little bit more aware of our body. And there is a huge shift this year, and we, we know that now. Everybody's realizing they're becoming more awakened to what's out there is so wrong. We're all awakened to corporate companies who don't care about us. They're just pumping out junk, and we're becoming poor, like we're becoming ill. We are. I mean, the world is becoming ill, but we are awakening to that, and that's a good thing because we're going back to nature, and that's all what's ever asked of us. I mean, Mother Nature gives us everything that we need, everything. Mother Nature is our healer, and yet we listen to the corporates, we listen to the pharmaceutical industries, we listen that, you know, what's wrong with you? Okay, I'll make you a drug, that'll fix you. No, we need to go back to how we used to do, like the ancient civilizations at once, who were the, the beautiful um, Native Americans, the shamans, these people who knew that everything on our land that grows, is that what cures us? And we're realizing that now with cancer. Well, why do you think people are going for cannabis? Why do you think people are going for certain fruits in different parts of the world that once injected into the cancer, it disappears? There are so many forms of natural healing products, but unfortunately, the pharmaceutical companies can't do anything with that because they can't patent it, which means they can't make money off that, so they're not interested. We now start to realize that we have to go back and we have to look at what we forgot. Do you know in the mountains, high in the Himalayas, and in many different parts of the world where there are very few people, there are certain souls there who still practice the art of healing. And it's incredible because they can't just run to the doctors <laughs> because they have to walk for four or five days. So what do they have? They have everything of mother nature, but more importantly, they have themselves, they have each other to help heal each other. They practice the art of healing through their hands. They realize that they can heal and cure so many things. And of course, when you're on top of a mountain, you're away from all of that out there, which is so wrong. The craziness, the chasing of the tail, the must have the cat, must pay the mortgage, must this, must that, that in itself, that in itself is such a burden. And that burden is pressure. And that pressure brings forward fear. And fear is that what runs all down our body and then causes illness to our body. So when you're on top of a mountain, life is about waking up in the morning, feeling the love of energy around you, enjoying your moment, finding out who you are, and just being a kind soul to one another. There is no greed, there is no need for ego, there is no need for power. This is one of the things that I believe we need to go back to. We need to learn to reject what our world has become and we have to start again. So it's a lovely day, I'm really glad I'm here. 
And I hope that some of this information today about cleansing your body will awaken your senses, just so you become more aware that yes, we can hold on to negative energy. It can attach to us, but there are many ways we can heal ourselves. And through this video, I hope it may help you today. And remember, you are a beautiful soul like everybody else. There is nothing wrong with you at all. Whenever you feel down because somebody may have done something to upset you, you're just like me and everybody else. We all go through that situation, all of us. But we have to learn how to become stronger. For me, I reject anybody who causes me issue now. And that is so important in my life now because they're gonna cause issue to somebody else, if not me. So they're just gonna cause issue. They're going through whatever they're going through. But why should that be me today? No, today I'm just gonna have a happy day and say goodbye to you. And uh, I wish you well with love, but no, I'm not gonna be affected by that. And I'm certainly not gonna be drawn in to that energy. And for sure, I am not gonna let that negative energy attached to me today. And that's all you have to remember. You are not here to be a punch bag for other people's emotions. You're not here to listen to the anger, the rage, and the bitterness on social media. You are here to have a happy life, and thus you become stronger to be able to help people who truly look forward to having you with them. And they feel that love and that healing from you. And they're the ones who say, thank you for being you. They're the people that you have in your life. So from the Pure Energy Healing Academy and um, from markbayoski.com, the YouTube channel, thanks for listening to this fairly long video. But you know what? If you're here and you're listening to it, I believe there's a reason for that. So have a great day, everybody. From my heart to yours, be the best and amazing soul that you already are. Love you all. <laughs>